Hi beauties! Welcome to my very first YouTube video and to my channel Beauty by Barb. I am so glad you guys are here with me today. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and also share and leave any comments, suggestions um, down below. This channel is going to be about, you know, life and beauty and, of course, hair. Um, and fashion and all of that good stuff. Whatever you want to talk about, let me know and we will put it into works. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Barbara Tamara. I have two other middle names, but I'm not going to disclose that. But my name is Barbara Tamara Holmes and... Um, I was born in Monrovia, Liberia, West Africa. Shout out to all my LIB family and friends. And I grew up, I came to the United States when I was five years old. I grew up in um, Troy, New York. For those who don't know, Troy is a city outside of the capital of New York, which is Albany. A lot of people think New York State or New York City is the... Um, <laughs> Is the capital, but no, it's Albany. So Troy is the city right outside of Albany. And I grew up, you know, with a beautiful church family. That's where I spent most of my life. <laughs> and when I got older, I moved downstate to um, Yonkers to live with my, um, my family as well. I have um, my beautiful mother. She is still back home in Liberia. Lord's will, I will be seeing her soon. And, um, you know, I have my, uh, I have an older brother and a younger sister who, whom I have yet to meet. So I am extra excited about that. I wouldn't be here actually if it wasn't for, um, well, God first and then my grandfather, may God rest his soul, um, Bishop Tia. That's my heart. Because of him and um, my church uh, family that I was, you know, able to come over here to the U.S. during the time. So, oh my gosh, now I want to, <laughs> I'm trying not to get emotional. Especially when it comes to my mother that's like my baby. So, it's a, it's a very sensitive um, subject, you know, with my mother, but... I love her so dear. I love her so much. Like, I love my mother um, for giving me the opportunity to come over here at such a young age because I don't know if I could have, if that was me giving my child. I don't know. Ooh, I don't know. It was, it's just like, you know, she just wanted the best, what was best for me. And I'm great. I am forever grateful for her um, giving me the opportunity, you know. So, moving along. I got into hair. I really, I can't tell you when I um, learned how to, you know, do hair. I, I just remember I've been working and being around hair from forever like um it's just one of the talents that I was blessed with I did you know as I grew older I did learn a lot and I learned different techniques working in salons and um also you know watching YouTube videos and hands-on all of that good stuff at school in uh, New York I used to work in the salon with one of my favorite people, Michelle Wooten. Shout out. I love you. Um, <laughs> so, you know, she had her, her at the salon. I used to go there on the weekends and just, you know, help shampoo or braid down to prep for their, uh, prep the customer for their weaves. 
um take out you know i did little you know i did i learned i did that much made some mistakes but we live and we learn that's life right as i got older i learned to do my hair um i remember when i did my own first my very first weave i was up all night <laughs> building my arm muscles you know you have to oh it was it was a lot but i was so excited when i did it and at the time i was like learning how to do the um invisible invisible part without leaving you know any leave outs and all that so i was excited when i actually accomplished it and yeah ever since i've been learning progressing now i am more confident than i've ever been but recently not recently actually it was March of 2019, I stepped out and shaved my head bald. You know, it's like when you're, you know, doing hair, you, you know, you try different hairstyles, you try weaves, wigs, braids, different, different things. And once I did that, I don't know. It was just like, I, I received a lot of compliments, a lot of compliments. Some are like, oh, no, why didn't you do that? And then no, 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 no. I'm like, hair does not define who you are. You know, you are beautiful with hair and you also are beautiful without hair. But it's really like, um, it, it's really sad to see, you know, some people who just do not see the beauty in themselves, even if they do have hair. It's like, you know, so many, so all along on social media, it's like people are bashing those who do not have hair and then those who do have hair you, you know it's just it's what's inside that matters most everybody you know have some type of a flaw some type of flaw that they do not like within themselves for me i used to always hate my stretch marks or what we call breaking vein i had to learn to be confident in my own skin and you know, I realize I realize it's a part of life. I try shea butter, coconut oil. I'm just like at this point, I just accept it. So it's a part of me. All of my I love all of my scars, all of my imperfections. It's just I've learned I literally learned to love myself. And it's all a mental thing, guys. Like it really starts in the mind because I literally had to change the way I was thinking about myself, change the way, you know, I felt mentally, and then I began to um, put it into action. So. Oftentimes, I, I, for the most part, I'm very natural. <laughs> Every now and then, I would like to, you know, do my makeup, and I did, you know, guys, I did do my makeup tonight, so it's not not the best but it's a little natural cute beat i love to do it it's just the taking off process at nighttime that's tedious like i take great pride in my skin i just you know i have to make sure it it, it comes off properly just as much you know you take time to put it on you got to take time to you know take it off right you can't just wipe the makeup off and think that's gonna do no you have to actually do a makeup i mean do a skincare routine at night so and it actually really helps me to be honest when i do my whole night routine it helps me sleep i do have my hair page on instagram beauty underscore by underscore barb i will leave that information down below but i'm going to be selling bundles guys I'm finally going to be selling bundles, so that's all that good stuff is in the works. And um, I like to challenge myself and, oh, I'm going to do this style. And in my head, I'm like processing. Sometimes when I'm sleeping, I'm like processing how I want to do it. Then when I actually get to executing, 
and then it just comes out better than I expected and I'm like oh and people are like oh who did you hear I'm like oh, I did they're like no you didn't no you didn't I'm like yes I did really wow you did a good job so it you know boosts my confidence I didn't make this this was from um, DVNC Beauty I will leave her information in the description box as well so you can go follow and support so that's why I'm excited to you know share this platform with you guys and I'm actually going to record videos when I'm doing my work I did record a video of how I made um, uh, my faux lock wig that I wore a while back it's gonna be um, in the next video coming so stay tuned for that but I will also you know make videos on um, you know how I put certain things together make like haul videos but yeah guys I just I really want you to bear with me as I learn how to use this platform and please like give suggestions and you know comments I'm open to them I'm open to learning how to you know better my uh, platform like I really want this to be as interesting as possible I'm excited guys I don't know about you but I am very very excited I have to take it one day at a time really am looking forward to this going further I am just like grateful for life and just grateful for every stage of my life from the time when I was born to the time I came over here to um, the United States to now like the woman that I am, the woman that I am, and I'm still becoming because I'm always, you know, we're always a work in progress. So I just, I really, really love it. Shout out. I really want to shout out and thank everybody who played a role in my life, whether you know it or not. So um, I love my family, friends my enemies no <laughs> I, mess, I don't i don't have enemies but um let me stop but guys i'm i've really enjoyed sitting here telling you a little about myself and i really really look forward to seeing your suggestions and your input it's been really nice talking to you and i look forward to getting to know you so please go ahead and follow my page and hope you are staying safe from in this quarantine and coronavirus bye Mwah. take care beauties